This short video will show you how to add an inventory date to your item. You can add an inventory date to your items as part of the process of performing inventory in libraries. You can see the last inventory date in the item status detail view. Inventory date will display the last inventory date and inventory workstation will display the workstation that was used when the inventory date was last updated. Staff can add an inventory date to an item in one of two ways. From the check-in screen, there is a check-in modifier called Update Inventory. While this is selected, sc scanned barcodes will have the current date and time added as the inventory date when the item is checked in. You can see the inventory date here. You can also add an inventory date from the item status screen. Here you can batch update items by uploading a file or you can scan your items to make a list. Select all of the items, click on Actions, and choose Update Inventory. You'll get a message that the, up, the update was successful. It'll say updated most recent inventory data for selected items. When you're ready, you can run reports to get lists of items without an inventory date or with an old inventory date. Report templates using the last inventory date field can be found in the inventory folder in Sitka templates. Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.